I'm spending all of my dough. I'm spending all of my cash. All this money that I ever had, I put that shit on my tab. 12 o'clock and I'm fucked up. Oh, damn, I'm smashed. I got fine women and fine drinks, and I'm trying to make this shit last. It's Friday. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's I back with another video. Today I have for you this um, pink glittery prom look that I freestyled. A nice tacked lashes. I don't know, it just came out really nice. So, if you are interested in how I got this look, then please make sure to keep watching. And before you even get to the video, I'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like it. Because you're going to like it. So go ahead and starting, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35B palette. Because I know it's the only really colorful palette I have. I'm going to be taking that lilac shade and I use that as my transition and then I'm going to take the shade under that which is a bit deeper of a purple and I'm going to use this as my crease shade. They moody and strange, like Judge Judy on stage. What? That's an analogy. I hope you're proud of me. I've been undoubtedly spending much more than my salary. Offers me hourly. Fuck it, this liquor empowers me. Uh, Here I just went back in to deepen it up and make it more opaque. Because as y'all know, this palette is not very pigmented. And I just decided to zoom in to give you guys a better look. Now I'm going to go in with the color that's underneath that, which is a very deep purple. And I'm just taking this on a smaller pencil brush. And I'm going to use this only on the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm just using the same brush that I used for my crease colors to further blend it out. I don't think I feel my face. All of this liquor keeps losing its taste. Taking these shots and I hit that shit raw while the girl at the bar says it's better with Chase. Speaking now taking the next eyeshadow base, which I've kind of found a technique to using it without me having it crease. I'm just going to cut my crease about halfway. I'm spending all of my cash, all this money that I have. For my lid color today, I'm going to be using the NYX single eyeshadow in the color red pink. This is a very bright neon pink, and I'm just taking this on like a flat shader brush to pack it on the eyelid. It's Friday. Now I'm just blending out the edges. Keep in mind this look is not a cut crease. Only reason I cut the crease was just so that this color would show up better. So anyways, now I'm taking the NYX Ultra Pro Glitter in the color, I think it's hot pink. And I'm just placing this glitter right on top of the pink eyeshadow. Now just to have it pop a little bit more, I'm going to take a lighter shade of pink, which did not have the name on it unfortunately, and I'm just going to put that right in the center, like between the purple and the pink, just so that it like stands out more in the middle. To do my winged liner, I used the Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner, which, um, I don't know, this time it wasn't that easy for me, so I didn't record it just because, I don't know, it was harder to do on camera. But now I'm just doing my regular face routine. Um, this time, since this is a full coverage look, I did use a brush instead of a sponge. Because, you know, sponges kind of um, sheer out the coverage of foundations. So I did use a, a brush just so that I could get that full coverage. And now I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, a lighter shade as my concealer because as I said in one of my last videos, I did run out of my favorite concealer. So yeah, I'm just using this until I decide to buy a new one.
For my cream contour, I'm using the same thing I always use, the ColourPop, um, what is it, Sculpting Stick in the color Platonic. Now again, since this is a full coverage, flawless kind of look, I did take the Cody Airspun powder and use this just because this powder gives me a very, very flawless airbrush kind of look to my makeup that the black opal doesn't give me. But I tried not to leave it on for a long time at all. And then I did go back over on top of it with the black opal to decrease any flashback or white cast that it gave me. But as you can see, when I wipe it off, my skin looks really nice. Now I just set my contour with the Sleek palette, the Sleek Face Form palette. Whoa, I don't care about what they say. I'ma do me, want you niggas do the same. I won't change up, everything will be the same. Everybody young, you trying to steal from my tray. Whoa, I don't care about what they say. I'ma do me, want you niggas do the same. I won't change up, everything will be the same. Everybody young, you trying to steal from my tray. Lazy with persuasion, y'all can doubt me though. Solving these equations, how to get the dough. Trying to be amazing, take some time though. Do it on occasion, take a photo. Once I get the feel, I'm gonna come back. Just to help with the ashiness I'm from the loose powders, I decided to go in with the face powder. And this face powder that I'm using is the Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Rich Mahogany. I will never fall out, I'm gonna keep it going. Shout out to my niggas, they gonna keep it going. Heart made of diamonds, I'm gonna keep it glowing. I'm gonna keep it real, keep on fucking rolling. I'ma keep it chill like some lemonade. I gotta keep it ill, I'ma demonstrate. I'ma drop some bombs like a hand grenade. And blow up to the top, hope I get it made. On splash, I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Splash Palette. And I'm gonna be taking this one right here. This one isn't that pigmented. I really, I don't know. It has like a very slight hint of color that I like. It kind of just helps to blend all my makeup together. So that's why I used it. The next blush that I use, which is like the actual blush, is this CoverGirl True Blend in the color Deep Mauve, I believe. And this blush is so pretty for my skin tone. Honestly, all of them are pretty. It's just they have three different shades. They have Light Mauve, Medium Mauve, and Deep Mauve, I believe. And see so yeah, this blush, I don't know, it's really nice and it went with my makeup. And so now I'm applying lashes. I stacked, you know, some Kiss 11 lashes with some Kiss, uh, crap, what is that called? Kiss Ritzy lashes. <laughs> And now I am just putting those same crease colors that I used um, on the lower, on my lower lash line. We just trying to make a living right out here. Even though life is shitty, got the senses to be digging. I can make a good living right out here. Yeah, everything is like. Moving on to highlight, I am highlighting my nose. And I used the Becca today because it's for like, you know, it's a prime makeup look. For prime, you wanna be bougie, and you wanna be extra, so. I think it's the most expensive highlight I have, which is Becca Cosmetics Opal. I have combination skin, so when it comes to highlight, I try not to go overboard with it because if my skin's already gonna start to get greasy, having like a lot of highlight on it is just gonna make that look worse. Especially, especially in pictures. So yeah, I just tried to only use a little bit and now I'm lining my lips with a brown lip liner. 
think this is by Wet n Wild. Honestly, it's just a random one. So for my lip gloss today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss and Blushing. This lip gloss came out in the Spring Collection from last year, 2016. So unfortunately, it was limited edition. However, it is very pretty, and so I still wanted to use it. I'm pretty sure you can find a color very similar to this in the drugstore. Like, it's just a simple pink lip gloss. It's, you know, it's nothing extravagant. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And to follow all of my other social media, which is always down below in the description bar. And I'll see you in my next video.